Hi guys, welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name's AJ, and I just want to take the time and say thank you for all the new viewers and subscribers that have come by the channel and have, um, are watching the content that we are posting every single day. We've been posting for the last three to four weeks, every single night, and I just want to just say thank you for everyone who comes by the channel and subscribes and leaves a like and the views at the moment are just going pretty crazy like for a small channel that has only just started just posting videos of what stuff that we like to do and um, we didn't expect it to grow as fast as it has and i just really want to say thank you to everyone who comes by the channel and watches the video it does mean the world and i wake up every morning and it just makes me happy that I'm able to help people with their IT and computers and that's my main goal. Now recently I did a f um, cluster on Proxmox and that cluster worked fine, I made a video on it. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. But um, I wanted to get rid of that cluster because it was just for video purposes and I did manage to do so. Um, after I, I did a few changes on my PowerEdge server, all my virtual machines disappeared. But it was really weird because I could still use the virtual machines, but I, I couldn't see them on the screen. But they were still up and running, which I thought was really weird. Um, and then the next day I went on my server and the GUI just wouldn't load. I could SSH into the server, but the... Graphical unit interface would not load at all. I could not get any access to it. And so I just, as you can see in the videos now, I just completely wiped the whole server and just reinstalled Proxmox and then just restored all my virtual machines and all my other services. And I thought it was, that was just the easiest way instead of playing around trying to work out what actually happened. I, had all the backups on my NAS in my rack, so I thought I'd just reinstall Proxmox on the Dell Enterprise server, and then I'm just going to reinstall the backup server and just redo everything from scratch, so it's all fresh, new configurations, new install, and so theoretically everything should work. But I just want to say thank you again, and um, I will see you in the next video, and I just appreciate everyone who comes by the channel. It means the world. Thanks, guys.